What's going on, you guys? Oh, it's your boy, Big Doc. I just want to talk about the my love-hate relationship with the post credit scenes in Spider-Man Far From Home. So, yes, this will contain spoilers. It's talking about post credit scenes. Why would it not be spoiler? So, if you have not seen it, peace out. Catch up with you later. Got a non-spoiler review and a spoiler review up for the film. Now, go check those out. Then, come back and rock with your boy because I have to get into my this, this discussion about this. And uh, I'm, I'm going to talk about the first post credit scene, which I thought was is my favorite. And I really, really like, uh, and I really, really love. Uh, mainly because it's J. Jonah Jameson, J.K. Simmons coming back, and J. Jonah Jameson is probably like my biggest thing on that. But the way it just flipped everything on his head. Now, Spider-Man's public enemy number one, you know what I'm saying? Uh, even if he's like exonerated and people are like, how oh, it really wasn't him. You're going to have people who are, people sometimes tend to make decisions about people ahead of time. So when they hear anything negative, that's just what they're going to stick with. Even if the truth comes out, even if the truth comes out, I'll be like, no, this was all part of the game. They're going to be like, nah, they, nah, they, 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 they just saying that, you know what I'm saying, to try to save faith for him. Like, when, when, I'm telling you, when people make their decision about you, that's pretty much what it is. They, they don't care about the truth, you know what I'm saying? They're blind to, to the truth there, because like, they just already prejudge you, and then you give them something negative on top of that, regardless if it's true or not, they're going to take it, and that's what they're going to know you as, you know what I'm saying? So that what 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 Quentin Beck or whoever Jake Gyllenhaal's character real name is did is like hey that's he pretty play he pretty much played it and he exposed that he's Peter Parker. Now I know in the comics, and I'm not just I'm not a super Spider Man guy. Spider Man is probably my favorite Marvel character if I'm being honest, but I'm not. I don't read a lot of Marvel comics. I, I, I read like a lot of the big storylines, mainly like big X Men storylines. But like I haven't read, I read a few quite a, well on on Spider Man X Men comics as far as Marvel, and I own Civil War. But Spider Man wasn't in the first Civil War, right? No, he's not. He's not in the first. He's not in the first Civil War. I got the first Civil War. Was he in the first Civil War? I haven't read it in such a while. But uh, either way, go. I think somewhere in, on the line, Spider-Man is the first person to come out and say his true identity. You know what I'm saying? And so, I don't know exactly how. And, but even if he did, it had to be like when he was older, right? Like, he's still in high school now. And everybody knows that identity. So, I don't know how that's going to factor in with his whole life. I, to me, I feel like the movie was about like, hey, you're about to become the next Iron Man. And this, this is where the love-hate relationship comes in with the post credit scenes at. I feel like the movie was about, hey, you're going to be the next Iron Man. And then by the end, it's like, no, that's not me. Like, I get it. I'm accept this role I have as a, a, as a, 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 a big person. You know, I, I, I'm an adventurer. You know, I accept my role as that. But I'm not Iron Man. You know what I'm saying? But now that his identity is exposed, now he, everybody knows he's Spider-Man, it's kind of like forcing him into like the Iron Man position. Now, don't get me wrong, I know everybody, everybody loves Robert Downey Jr. and I have no issues with the guy, no qualms with him. But I'm not just a huge Iron Man fan, you know what I'm saying? I, I guess this wasn't my favorite Avengers, probably wasn't even my top five favorite Avengers. You know, I thought the guy, I thought he, I, Rob Don Jr. was great in the role, and Iron Man was great for what he represented for the the entire MCU. But like, I'm more like Spider Man being Spider Man. You know, what I'm saying? I don't want him in this big, huge role or something. And so now you're kind of like forcing him into that. So that's what my love hate relationship with that post credit scene. Now on to the second one is more of a love hate relationship. I thought the twist that Samuel Jackson, uh, Nick Nick Fury, and uh, Maria Hill was Scrolls was amazing, and then I was like, oh my god, like some of my opponents say, yeah, I kind of see this one. Maria Hill was kind of off a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And so I kind of suspected something. I was like, how is she off when she's just being herself? That's actually her still. That's still an actor playing herself. Uh, it's just so happy she turned to a scroll. I didn't get it, man. If you got it, cool. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations. Then we look up and we see just saying, uh, Nick Fury just on the scroll ship just chilling. But here's where my issue comes in at. Do you know how much better that scene is if the scrolls are bad guys 
that scene is 10 times more interesting because it's like, oh my God, where's the real Nick Fury? Oh my God, where's the, Maria, the, the real Maria Hill? Who's really who? You know what I'm saying? Then you, you, you get that. I don't feel the same since I know the scrolls are good guys. Maybe you might have some rogue scrolls and, and maybe that, you know, that'd be cool. And I, they're like, I thought this was going to, and like, and another reason is a love hate relationship because now, even if my scenario was what it was, like, and they were bad, I, in Captain Marvel, they never seemed like a threat. Like, they were, like, they were weak, bro. Like, they were, like, some hired guns. Like, I could have went and got some people out the hood for $1,500 and did exactly what the Scrolls did. You know what I'm saying? They, I'm just being honest, that 1500 they tell you, get an investment if you need something done. But uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, it, it didn't show me anything. And so now my, my what I wanted to happen wouldn't have even been as good but I think it would. I still think it would have been better. You know what I'm saying? I think it would have been better if the scrolls were bad. Cause like, maybe I know everybody looking for like secret invasion, and which is great. Uh, me personally, it's one of those big name comics I've never read. Just being honest, never read Secret Wars. Never read Secret Invasion. I, I believe me, I, I own them. Never read them. They just sit and wait. I, 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 I take time reading comics, man. I, I usually like wait till I'm just completely free and I, I deep dive. But like I just haven't read them. So I don't even know exactly what the entire storyline is even about. I just hear people mentioning it and I'm just getting like context clues and putting two and two together. You know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, I, I just wish the scrolls, the scrolls were actually bad guys. And so that moment, that scene would have made me feel a lot better. And they were just, maybe they were just trying to maybe infiltrate some stuff, you know what I'm saying? Get like more information and like, and then and start coming back at the same time. All of that would have been excellent. And like, oh, oh now they're bad guys. Who gonna, who's there to stop them? Cause nobody knows who they are. But you don't get that. You just, all oh, the good guys. It's, it's an interesting scene, but what does it really do, though? It doesn't really do anything. And that's my biggest issue. That's my love hate relationship. You guys let me know what you thought about that. Not in the comments, man. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. I'll catch up with you guys later.